Bing Crosby's towering legacy in the entertainment industry is undeniable, but behind the glitz and glamour lay the disturbing tales of his sons, Dennis, Lindsay, and Gary. Each was destined for stardom, yet their lives were marred by profound challenges and tragic endings. Dennis, the eldest, grappled with addiction despite his promising start in showbiz. Lindsay, burdened by his father's shadow, faced similar struggles, succumbing to personal demons. Gary, too, battled the pressures of fame and familial expectations, ultimately falling victim to the same tragic fate. Their stories are a somber reminder of the darker side of Hollywood, where success often comes at a harrowing cost. The Crosby Curse, a legacy of addiction and familial strife, serves as a cautionary tale, shedding light on the complexities of growing up in the spotlight. In their desperate endings, we find a sobering reflection of the pitfalls that accompany the pursuit of fame and fortune. Join us as we delve into today's gripping video, The Crosby Curse, Bing Crosby's Sons and Their Disturbing Endings. Dennis Crosby. Dennis Crosby, born Dennis Michael Crosby, on July 13, 1934, in the heart of Los Angeles, California, was immersed in the glamour of Hollywood from his earliest days. As the second son of the iconic Bing Crosby and Dixie Lee, Dennis was raised in a household where the rhythms of showbiz echoed through the halls. From a tender age, Dennis found himself enveloped in his father's world, where fame and fortune seemed to intertwine effortlessly. Bing Crosby, celebrated for his golden voice and memorable roles in timeless classics like White Christmas, cast a long shadow under which Dennis and his siblings, Gary, Philip, and Mary Frances, would navigate their own journeys. Despite the allure of following in his father's illustrious footsteps, Dennis embarked on a quest to carve out his own identity in the entertainment industry. Making his cinematic debut in 1957 with Mr. Corey, Dennis showcased a talent that mirrored his father's charisma and charm. Further roles in films such as The Night the World Exploded (1957) and The Purple Hills (1961) underscored his determination to step out from his father's shadow. Television beckoned, and Dennis answered with guest appearances on popular shows like The Jack Benny Program and The Red Skelton Hour showcasing his versatility as a performer. Yet, despite his efforts to establish himself as a leading figure in his own right, Dennis found himself grappling with the weight of expectations and the burden of living up to his father's legacy. Behind the veneer of fame and adoration, Dennis battled personal demons that threatened to unravel the fabric of his existence. Like many in his family, he struggled with alcohol addiction, a silent torment that haunted him throughout his life. Despite fleeting moments of triumph, Dennis found himself ensnared in a vicious cycle of substance abuse and internal turmoil. Unfortunately, on May 4, 1991, Dennis Crosby took his own life at the age of 56. This event deeply affected those in the entertainment industry and beyond, and it highlights the reality that mental health struggles can impact anyone, regardless of their fame or success. Lindsay Crosby, Lindsay Harry Crosby, Born on January 5, 1934, in the vibrant city of Los Angeles, California, and was the youngest of four sons from Bing Crosby's first marriage to Dixie Lee. Growing up as well in the glamorous life of Hollywood, Lindsay's childhood was steeped in privilege and expectation, alongside his brothers Gary and Philip, and sister Mary Frances. Bing Crosby's towering legacy as a legendary singer and actor, renowned for his captivating performances in timeless classics, like White Christmas and Going My Way, ensured a comfortable lifestyle for the Crosby family. However, as Lindsay matured, he found himself grappling with the daunting task of carving out his own identity in an industry dominated by his father's monumental reputation. While Lindsay attempted to follow in his father's footsteps, with appearances in films such as The Big Night (1951) and The Star and the Story (1955). His efforts failed to propel him to the same heights of fame and recognition. Despite his undeniable talent, Lindsay struggled to escape the formidable shadow cast by his father's legendary status. However, beyond the glittering facade of Hollywood, Lindsay Crosby faced a series of personal challenges that would ultimately shape the course of his life. Like many in his family, Lindsay battled with alcohol addiction a relentless foe that exacted a heavy toll on his well-being and relationships. 
Tragically, Lindsay's inner demons proved insurmountable, and on December 11th, 1989, he made the heartbreaking decision to end his own life at the age of 51. His untimely death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, serving as a sobering reminder of the silent struggles faced by even those who seemingly have it all. Gary Crosby, whose full name was Gary Evan Crosby, emerged into the world on June 27, 1933, as the eldest son of the iconic Bing Crosby and his first wife, Dixie Lee. From the outset, Gary's life was intertwined with the allure and prestige of Hollywood, yet he also faced his own unique set of aspirations and challenges. Gary held a special place within the Crosby family, alongside his brothers Philip, Dennis, and Lindsay. Growing up amidst the splendor and enchantment of Hollywood's golden age, Gary experienced the privileges and perks that accompanied his father's status as one of Tinseltown's biggest stars. Blessed with a captivating singing voice, he sought to establish himself as both a singer and actor, beginning with appearances on his father's radio show, The Bing Crosby Show, where he showcased his vocal talents with aplomb. Gary's foray into the world of film commenced with his debut in Mr. Corey, 1957, followed by notable roles in movies like The Big Night, 1951, and The Night the World Exploded, 1957. Additionally, he graced the small screen with guest appearances on popular television shows of the era, including Playhouse 90 Inches and Alfred Hitchcock Presents. Despite his efforts to carve out a successful career in the entertainment industry, Gary struggled to attain the same level of fame and recognition as his illustrious father, who had achieved iconic status as a music legend. Gary Crosby's life was not devoid of personal challenges, as he grappled with the complexities of his relationship with his famous father. In his memoir, Going My Own Way, 1983, Gary candidly revealed the abuse, neglect, and harsh discipline he and his siblings endured within their family. While Gary Crosby may not have achieved the same level of fame and success as his father, his legacy within the Crosby family and the entertainment world endures. Tragically, Gary Crosby's journey was cut short when he passed away on August 24th, 1995, at the age of 62. Going My Own Way Gary Crosby's book, Going My Own Way, published in 1983, provides a gripping insight into the intricate and often turbulent life of the Crosby family. At its core lies a revelation that peels back the layers of Bing Crosby's public persona, to unveil the harsh reality of abuse and harsh discipline that Gary and his brothers endured. Gary's candid accounts of beatings with a belt and the emotional scars left by his father's actions paint a different picture compared to Bing's pleasant and charming image in the public eye. Furthermore, Gary delves into the depths of his father's struggle with alcoholism, shedding light on how Bing's excessive drinking tore at the fabric of their family life. The book candidly explores the strain that Bing's addiction placed on their relationships, highlighting the profound impact it had on Gary and his siblings. Central to the narrative is the portrayal of the strained relationship between Gary and his father, characterized by emotional distance and a pervasive sense of neglect. Despite Bing's towering presence in the entertainment world, Gary grapples with feelings of abandonment and a longing for paternal affection that remains unfulfilled. Moreover, Gary offers insightful glimpses into the struggles faced by his siblings, particularly Dennis and Lindsay, who battled their own demons of addiction and personal turmoil. Through introspective reflections and candid anecdotes, Gary reveals the inner workings of his own journey towards self-discovery and autonomy. In essence, going my own way transcends the confines of a traditional book, offering a raw and unfiltered exploration of the complexities of familial relationships and the enduring quest for individuality. Bing Crosby's Thoughts In a candid interview back in 1959, Bing Crosby made a surprising confession, expressing deep regret about his parenting. He admitted, I guess I didn't do very well bringing my boys up. I think I failed them by giving them too much work and discipline, too much money, and too little time and attention. But I did my best, and so did their mother. This revelation offers a glimpse into Bing's introspective side, acknowledging his shortcomings as a father despite his best efforts. Interestingly, at the time of this interview, Bing's son Lindsay came to his defense, expressing disbelief at his father's sentiments. Lindsay remarked, I don't know how our dad could feel he's failed us as a father. This response adds complexity to the narrative, highlighting the nuanced dynamics within the Crosby family. The revelation of Bing's confession in the interview undoubtedly shook up perceptions of him as a father figure. 
It raises questions about the reality of his parenting style and the extent to which he was truly present for his children. In reflecting on Bing's words and the varying perspectives within his family, it becomes evident that the truth about his parenting lies somewhere in the gray area between regret and defense. Despite the disputes and conflicting accounts, one thing remains clear. The complexity of familial relationships and the enduring impact of parental influence are themes that resonate deeply within the Crosby family saga. We'd love to hear from you now. Were you aware of the challenges faced by Bing Crosby's sons? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below and join the conversation. Thank you for watching.